Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on showing the edit form for users into the Bootstrap model and handle the update request with Turbo Stream. Now, in this lecture, we will be working on displaying the user details into the Bootstrap model, or in other words, we will handle the show action for the user controller as Turbo Stream. But before moving forward in this lecture, let's see how the view link currently works. So when you click on the view link, you will be redirected on a page, okay, where you can see the show.html.erb and into the terminal you can verify this, like the show request is sent to the user's controller as show. Sorry, as HTML. Okay. Now what we need to do here, we will add the data controller attribute to the view link of uh, the show action and then we will open the user details into the bootstrap model. Okay. So let's uh, switch to the user again. So just click to the back to user so and we will be redirected on the users index page okay now first of all just like the last lecture let's add a data controller attribute to the view link so switch to the user partial into the app views users directory so open this user partial okay and here you can see what we did in the edit link that data controller user model so we will use the same data controller attribute for view link as well okay now just uh, paste it here and save this and after saving this just to switch to the index page of the users in the browser and refresh the page and after refreshing it just inspect a view link and you will find that our data controller attribute has been added to this view link and as the as soon as the user model controller initialized i mean the stimulus controller initialized you can see that the data action attribute also added to this view link which is click user models show model now just switch to the project again and here you can see we created a form model for displaying the form into the bootstrap model so similarly we need to create another partial that will be user detail model so just to click a new partial inside the app view users directory so and name this as let's say user detail model dot html dot erb okay sorry html dot erb okay now in this lecture we need to implement the bootstrap model in the same way we did in the form model dot erb okay so just copy this line and paste it into the user detail model just paste it here and now we need to remove the render form from this line because we do not need to render the form inside the detail model for users we will display instead some data which represents the values of the user's attribute so just add the model body class here so div class model body and inside this model body add a row class div class row and then a div class call lg12 div class call lg12 and into this class what we need to do now we need to display the user details so we can do it like p class lead just close this p tag and inside this p tag add a strong attribute sorry a strong tag close the strong tag and here let's add name and then it's the rate user dot name sorry yeah at the rate user dot name and then just copy this p tag to display rest of the attributes and how what attributes we have rest that like email and replace name with email here and then same for city state country and contact number here you can use city here you can use state country and then contact then value of the contact number so just replace this name by contact number okay save this now after this model body what we need to do we need to add a model footer class and in that footer class what we will add we will add the button to close the model which will dismiss the bootstrap model for us so view class you can add model footer and inside this model footer add a button that will be 
button type button and into that add a class sorry this is the HTML so we need to add let's say btn btn secondary okay and then data bs dismiss and then model okay and then value for this button so it will be close and then close this button type. save this now now what we need to do we need to create a partial eh, sorry we need to create a template with turbo stream format so show dot turbo stream dot erb if you wish you can replace this show dot turbo stream dot erb so rename this template that is show dot turbo stream dot erb and now save this and now look at the new dot turbo stream dot erb just copy this existing content from here and in show dot turbo stream dot erb remove the existing content and just place this and now for render form model you need to do render user detail model so render user detail okay and we are providing user local variable from here with at the rate user so now just switch to the user detail again and remove uh, replace the at the rate user with user so just select this move this at the rate now we are done so here you can see that we set the same model with uh, replace the same model with turbo frame tag remote model target at the top and here you can see the data controller bs model we added here and now the details of the user which showing the values of its attribute and the model close button is already here so and that's it now switch to the browser and refresh the page so switch to the users index page close this inspect area and when you refresh the page now click on the view link of the user and when you click on this view link you can see the details into the model pop-up this is the user details you can close this model as well and now let's do one more change that is uh, replace this create new user by user details okay so you can use let's say user details save this and now refresh the page again and see the output by clicking on a view link so if you click on the first users you will see the details of this user if you click on another view link you will see the details of another user and that's it here you might think that why i used the same model snippet at multiple places for example switch to the project again and here you can see that we have some similar snippet of model into the form model as well and we have the similar snippet of model into the user detail model as well okay but i did this intentionally because i want you to refactor this duplicate code so please try this lecture at your end and also try to refactor the duplicate snippet however don't worry in the next lecture i will refactor this uh, duplicate snippet as well so you can match your work with my solution so stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe